Happy New Year and welcome a family to my first video of this year. Actually, the first video that I filmed this year, the video that came up last week after the New Year's Eve is actually something that I pre-filmed because we were away for a week. But this is my first video filming this year and I'm very excited. I have high hopes for this year and I hope and I think it's going to be an amazing year. I hope you feel like that too. But here we are today to actually try the new Wet n Wild uh, Calaracone 32 pan eyeshadow palette. But I have two. One I'm going to give away in this video. At the end of this video I'm going to go through the rules uh, that you need to follow to get this palette but this one is mine and it looks like this. I haven't even took off the plastic yet. I received it before we went away for Christmas uh, and I didn't have time to film this video before so here I am to film it with you. Oh my god I need to remove the plastic that's over it. I'm kind of excited. I feel like this palette looks beautiful. So many colors, nice colors and I have high hopes because I'm giving one away so I really hope it's going to be a good palette. I'm going to throw away the plastic. I don't think I need it but this is uh, the eyeshadows. They look beautiful. They actually look warm and there are some nice red, pinkish, brown, yellow, blue and green shades in here. Very, very excited to try it. I already primed my eyes with Anastasia Berry Hills eyeshadow primer and I did set everything with Huda Beauty setting powder. Uh, and I'm kind of excited. So if you want to see me trying this palette and swatch this palette and also if you want to have a chance to win this palette yourself, then please keep on watching. They are still throwing fireworks around here. I don't know if you can hear it, but are you done? Yeah, thank you. Okay, so I don't know really, I have so many things I want to create with this palette or makeup looks I want to create this palette, but these kind of, these purple shades look duochrome and look very interesting. Um, but I want to go into this one too. Oh my God, I don't know all this one. Okay, I'll try as many colors as possible in this palette just to see how it's going to perform. Doesn't have a mirror, kind of bothers me a little bit, but that is what it is. No shade names either. But we are going to go in with this shade and try it as a, I don't know, base shade for the crease or something. I don't know. It does have some pigment, but you can't really see it on my eye either. So. I'm just going to create it, but I really want to try hmm, this shade here. I'm going in with the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill 33 eyeshadow brush. They have a lot of, they are a little bit powdery, but it doesn't bother me at all actually. They're blending very nice, very powdery, so maybe it's better to use it before going in with the face makeup. I didn't do it this time, but I mean, I do like this shade. It's building up very, very nice. I really like this. I'm impressed so far. But they are powdery, so have that in mind. I know some people do the one eye and then go in, completely done with one eye, and then go in with the other eye. I can't do that. I need to do like both steps on both eyes at the same time or after each other, not the same time, but after each other. I'll forget what I did or I'll forget the steps. So. So I really like this shade. I think it blends nice. It looks nice, but there is some 
farther around here now. Let's go in with this shade next to the brown. When you, I'm going to do my nails tomorrow, I'm so excited. I'm actually going to make them black, where I think if I don't change my mind in the morning, I'm going to use this in the crease. Sorry guys, I had to change my battery, it died, but I'm back. This shade, are blending very nice into each other. I'm going to build up that shade in the crease. I'm just going to keep it in the crease just a little bit above, but I'm not going to go too high as I did with the first shade, but I like this combo. My last giveaway is sent to the giveaway winner, and I'm going to have a big giveaway on my channel in a couple of days. I actually thought that I was going to film it before, but I didn't have time. And I was looking to pick up a winner for my last giveaway. The problem was last time that some of you unsubscribed or didn't follow the rules. You didn't add me or didn't subscribe to my channel. And I'm looking for that. So I'm checking out. Okay, let's see. I want to go a little bit darker. I'll go in with the black one. With ja Morphe and Jaclyn Hill 40 brush. The black one is powdery too, so... Okay, um, it's pigmented, oh yeah, it's pigmented. Black is blending also very nice. Nice, nice, nice. Then I want to go in with the this brush. This is, I don't know, a flat brush. And I want to go into this purple shade here. This one. This one looks nice. And I'm going to go without wetting it first. Oh, there's some fallout. I think we need to wet it a little bit. It's blending very nice into the black one. It's nice. I do like it. Uh, but I think I want to go in with this Jaclyn Hill and Morphe and go into this dark again that we had just to kind of deep up the crease a little bit more this one. With this brush that we use for the black color. Just blend the edges a little bit. I just really like how everything looks so nice and smoky. I'm going to clean the flat brush that we used for the dark purple. Where is it? And I'm going to go into this light purple shade. Just clean it a little bit. And I'm going to wet that too. But it's this purple. This shade we are going in. It looks nice. And I'm going to wet the brush too. nice it's really really nice I'm impressed so far with this palette actually it, it is a little bit powdery and does have some fallout but it doesn't bother me I mean it's no worse than uh, maybe uh, Anastasia palette of Tasia Beverly Hills It's personal preference, but I do like it. And I'm loving this makeup look. I'm really liking the, this makeup look. So let's use another shade. 
let's go with the green and blue we are going to mix it this one matte green looks like dark matte green this one is also very pigmented it looks very crazy not like right now but i promise you it's going to look very nice when we finish this makeup look i'm going to clean this flat brush i know i'm going to use a flat brush from nyx and i'm going to go in with this dark blue shade here and i'm going to pack it on just under my lower lash line Oh, it's stunning. This one is stunning. I'm really loving this blue one. Let's go into the lighter blue. Clean the brush again. So much cleaning around here. Let's go in with this blue shade here, this one. turns a little bit darker because it has like a dark on the undertone so we are going to go in here with this green here instead try to pack it it's so beautiful very metallic i'm going to get a lot of use with this palette guys this is a very nice palette I'm going to use the shade that we had in the crease before the lightest shade with this brush that we had used for the dark blue. Just smudge a little bit on the lower lash line to make it more smoky and blended. I really like this. And then I'm going to go in with the lightest shimmery shade in the corners let's see if we can find a suitable brush for that i'm going to go in look c 141 and we use uh, this one it's like a yellow shimmery shade hmm, i think we need to wet it a little bit it's a little bit powdery doesn't bother me mm, there you go this is nice try to use as many shades as possible in this palette I'm liking it got some fallout I like it so I'm going to do my mascara and I'll be right back so guys this is the final look now I know what you think two big lashes I could definitely go with a pair smaller this is from Pract Allure uh, I don't think this brand is still around their website has been not working for months unfortunately but I love this uh, I could definitely trim this one a little bit more because it's too long. But don't care about my lashes now. Look at this stunning makeup look. Uh, makeup look. I really, really enjoy this palette. I think it's so beautiful. I have so many ideas, so many makeup looks I want to create with this palette. And it's amazing. I really, really like it. Uh, it's powdery. The pigmentation is there. But I really want to swatch this palette too for you guys. So let's do that. And then we can go with the rolls. Let's, I'm going to go with the first roll up here. This gold one is also beautiful. They feel very soft. Mm. They're easy to build up too. Not bad, not bad at all. I mean, the pigment is there. They're swatching very nice. 
the blue one is also swatching very nice. The swatches all there. This is the first one. I mean, I really like it. I'll be using these three shades and they are very nice. And this one too. I like it. Let's go with the next word that we have. These. Uh, this one is a little bit chalky. Uh, this one is there, but I mean, it doesn't mean it's not going to work on the eyes. But the first one, I don't think you're going to see. It's like my skin color. But this one is swatching nice. Ooh, this one is beautiful. I mean, they are swatching nice. I'm not hating it. Really nice. The green, green one is like pressed hard, just like that. This purple one has like have like a black undertone. So it turns darker than I thought they would. This purple one, it's beautiful, but it's a little darker than I thought it would be. But they are swatching nice. I mean, no, nothing wrong with the swatches, and they prefer perform very nice on the eyes too. Feel like there is not really any consistency with this palette because, like, some mattes are softer than the others, and some shimmery shades or this satin finish are more pressed than the others. So that's maybe the back. That's may maybe the thing. One thing I don't like with this palette. But I mean, it performs very nice. This one is a little bit chalky, but it's blending. I mean, they're blending. You see, they're blending nice. The one that we had on the eyes, dark green. Oh, this one is nice. I can see myself using this one all over the eyelid. They are sw swatching very nice. So this is the third road, the green one. So let's blend it a little bit. Do you see? Nice. I like it. I mean, swatches are not everything, but if you like the swatches, you can watch them. If not, there is other parts of this video that maybe you will enjoy. Let's see the last road now and swatch the last road and see how that one is working. Road. Mm, nice, nice, nice. Um, a little bit chalky, but I mean, they're swatching very nice. I'm impressed. I like this palette more than I thought I would. I like Wet n Wild eyeshadows. So let's see. This one is that we had all over the crease. Well, I like this one a lot. And this one also that we had in a crease. No, this one is all over the crease. This one is in the crease. And I love these shades. And the black one. Black one is black. I like it. I like this. Very nice. So, guys, that was the swatches of this Wet n Wild 32 Pan Eyeshadow Palette. I like this. I mean, the packaging is nothing special. I think it's cute, um, wish it had a mirror, but I mean, for the price, it's nice. I like the size of the pans. I like the shade range. I think it's very nice palette. And I'm definitely going to create ma more makeup looks. This one is yours, guys. Do you want to get this? Do you want to get this? Then you need to subscribe to my channel and also leave a comment down below. Let me know. What is your favorite palette of 2019? I would love to know that. And that was everything. Subscribe and let me know down below what's your favorite palette of 2019. That's the rules. And it's internationally, so it doesn't matter where you live. This could be yours. Um, and that is everything. Please let me know down below what you think about this makeup look. What do you think about this palette? Uh, are you cu curious to try it out? And um, that was everything. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to enter this giveaway. 
and I promise there will be another big giveaway soon on my channel so stay on my channel for that and guys I love you all and see you in my next video bye